Gaming Division. Hey there, welcome to Gaming Division. I am Cameron. Today we're going to do some unboxing for Super Dungeon Explore. Yay! Look, there's my first edition box that you probably can't get now. Um, <laughs> it's, it'll, it, the time is coming. Uh, for whatever reason, for October, they were decided to release a special mini... It's not even an expansion. It's two model sets. Um, but I have to say, right off the bat, I do not like this. This is shitty and dumb, and maybe it's cheaper. Um, I would think that it would be more expensive to do the plastic like this, all customized and everything, instead of doing the little... Oh, you can't see it, it's off camera. Um, grab just had a mage one. Instead of doing the, the, the nice looking box like this, um, maybe it's printing costs that are too expensive. I don't know, but I would think that this would be better. And it, it goes good on a shelf. It looks better in the store. Like, I get that you're seeing what you, you're paying for here, but I don't like this, and I blame Ninja Division. But, I can't blame them because their name's on this one too. So, I'll be fair. That was the instinct. Um... Always curious, and maybe and models are expensive. Like, let's just be honest. Like, if you play any game that uses models, then you're more likely to buy another game that bought, uses models, and you know that it's too expensive. Um, I I should have thought about this more. I don't know. Okay, it's already split here. Like, I'm really unsure how I wanted to open this. Since the front's already split, we'll just... Okay, that was bad. Always cut away from you guys. Oh, okay. So, this is Jack Scarecrow. Um, I'm unsure how he makes facial expressions, which I really don't like. Uh, my opinion in this, other than his cool sky... sky I say cool. His... Uh, Ornate Scythe there. Let's go ahead and see if I can get him on here or not. Wee! Oh, there you go. That, that's the details pop there. If I can see it on my camera phone for my GoPro, that should be fine. Um, normally, I'm super anal retentive about maintaining the packaging, but I don't care. Not I don't care about this plastic. I want the... Um, the paper inside. This is killing me. You have no idea. Uh, I'm usually so thick. Because I'm really proud that I have all the boxes from all the models and stuff that I've gotten from this. And I normally don't care about that sort of thing at all. But if I'm going to have things up on a shelf, and it's other than the models themselves maybe, um, I like having game boxes. I really think that this is representative of me. I've never been too big into posters or putting things on the wall. Putting a bookshelf up with some cool stuff. Yeah. Okay, so the, the little thing that I was trying to save um, has the little description of Jack on the back, and then it's got a pamphlet inside for Ninja All-Stars and uh, Forgotten King. Yeah. So that's what that is. So real quick, let's look at the cards that we got here. I gotta say, I really do like these protectors that they send the cards in. Um, the ones that seal, or, yeah, that seal. Okay, so, of course, we've got an arcade card for Jack as a mini boss. He looks so much more threatening on the card. So there's the artwork there. And we'll, we'll put it on this camera, just so we have an option. Um... Oh, that's the villain card. I didn't pull up the arcade card like I thought I was. So, let's just real quick, I want to compare. He looks like basically the same guy, except he's got an extra wound as a bad guy. Uh, of course, he's full, scar full skulls and super. He doesn't have his potion because he's a bad guy. But instead, he's got this uh, run birdie one point action. Wave two, will versus will push three. So that's interesting. Um... As a bad guy, he has an extra will, in addition to two red, 
Uh, he has two green, two blue, two red, uh, and a two range strength as he's got that scythe. Uh, three armor and one dex, which is kind of funny that anybody does. And he's flammable. Flammable. When a model with flammable is targeted by an action that causes fire, the flammable model, model suffers fire even if it wins the defense roll. Okay, so he gets hit, he, so he burns. Okay, that makes sense. And as a hero, I mean, he's two, two blue, one red strength, reach two. Uh, two blue for armor, which is not nice that they did that to him. Uh, two red on the will, which I find interesting. Um, and then one dex. He's, this is never going to be a dex character. Um, fixable as well. When a model successfully uses a bandage basic action on a model with fixable, remove two wounds instead of one. That See, that's actually representative of him being um, a magical creation, because he's obviously not human. He's not a actual monster. He's made of straw or whatever. Um, so, Harvest Sights uh, is a two-point action. Sweep three and slow, which is interesting. And then two-point action, bumper crop, uh, wave one, heal two. So you, he, wow. Uh, he's like a nasty little paladin. Um, and then he's got a pumpkin bomb for, of course he does, for his, his potion. Uh, poison, no, dangerous, uh, range six, burst one, will versus dex, fire. Which is interesting, so that means that he could potentially set himself on fire. Um... He is a funny little character, uh, and that means that I, I minimal. All I gotta do is change. Uh, I don't even think I'm gonna adjust the stats. I think I've got because I've got that impact miniatures thing that I want to make a a person um, or a hero or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I think I may just change that to all being magic offense, like just ignore his strength, and that should balance it out. Possibly. Oh, but he uses will as defense? That's the first time I've seen that. Does the bad guy do that? Oh my god, he does. That's awesome. And of course, uh, he has the Harvest Scythe as his tool. It's plus one green to strength. Uh, and then two point action, Thresher, sweep three. So, uh, Jack's a nasty little guy. Like, I wouldn't have assumed he'd been that, that badass, but, like, there he is. Um, okay, so the other model that they released is another boss model, Beatrix the Witch, uh, which is kind of neat, because I was always throwing the, uh, the witches in with the undead up to this point, but given, looking at the models that they're going to be releasing with Super Dungeon Legend, uh, Kickstarter's live right now, um, and this, I think they're going to, like, have a whole witch thing as well, so the purples are going to split. Let's go get this open. I'm very curious. Um, I wouldn't have thought they would have stuck her on a carriage. It is cute that she has cats instead of horses, but if I'm right, this will be the first large model. I think we've been uh, what are typically small and medium bases. No, this is a medium base. I, in my head, she's just so much bigger. Ugh. I love my Ziploc baggies. Oh my god, I don't want to break the cats. Ugh. This is a cool looking model. I don't like that the cats aren't touching the ground, but I can probably fix it. Oh, they're in mid-leap, whatever. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are really forgiving of that, whether or not they should be. Uh, they got little bells. The, the detail on these models is crazy, especially going up under the hat. Uh, it's really crazy. Just the, having the idea for this model and then even doing it. Um, and I'm not sure that this is how I'd want to get around if I was a witch. Maybe if the pumpkin was big enough to sit inside? Maybe. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll put it on this camera as well to see if we can get some more of the detail to you. Um, just wow. Like, I mean, 
mean, like, it's not like she does individual strands of hair in the back there, but even the hair is done really well. There's a face on the pumpkin. Uh, all the leaves that are done on top of the pumpkin. Really, really impressive. Um, I don't want to take too long. I just, I get lost in the magic of these things. We also have, and this might be my favorite bit. Oh, they're even done like finger puppets. Can I get it? Um, little ghost creeps. Um, which I think are interesting that the, the witches are still like dealing with undead. Like the, the skull bats and then the, the, the ghosts here. Um, I really think these are cute. So, like, I don't have to cut any of these, so that's good. So, like, we've got an Explorer set for, and I hate how small these are. This is, I just can't, I don't like it. But plenty of creeps to, to pop out, a trap or two. Uh, let's see, boss spawn, ghost town, spawn one, one ghost for every destroyed mini boss. Skull token on the dungeon and spent princess coin. Okay, so... But, of course, it's up to the number, and you, you start with six. Uh, timeout, poxes. All heroes suffer one random status effect. Close your eyes and pick a token. That's annoying. I don't like that one. But it is what it is what it is. Let's go ahead and look at what she does. Okay, there's our arcade card. Let me go ahead and just show you the artwork real quick. Let's see if that comes up. Yep. Alright, so Beatrix the Witch. Of course, there's not a hero thing there. It comes with, oh, arcade creep card and creep card for the ghost. So, let's see. She can fly on a pumpkin? Come on. Ghost Mancer, Kitty Claws, Potion Sash 3. I thought we got rid of doing potions for witches. Uh, she's strength 2, range 1. Um, armor is 2 static, 1 red. That could be problematic. Um, range 8 will, 2 red, 1 green. 2 red, 1 green, range 8 will. That's crazy. If she wasn't a big model, I'd have more problems with that. 8 hit points, uh, 3 blue dexterity. Like, she's going to need it. Uh, pumpkin charge, dangerous. Uh, melee, lance 8. Strength, lance 8. Charge, spin up to 1 potion token to gain... One green strength. And that's a one point action out of her four. She has movement seven. Um, bubble and boil. Dangerous will burst one. Spin up to one potion token against. Or to gain uh, plus one green will. So at least they're limiting what she can do with these extra greens. Because that is nasty. Uh, so she's going to basically. She has three potions. She's going to have one round. Where she's zapping the crap out of you, and it's going to be two red, two green, three times, and then like two red, one green to finish you off. Uh, and then a two-point action, curses, um, dangerous, wave two, choose any one status effect. So choose that time. Um, and I like that one, because that's that's poison, that's fire right there. One of those two. Charge, when a model with charge uses a lance area effect, um, after resolving all other effects of the lance, the model may be placed in any unoccupied square that was affected by the lance. That should have been something for the questing night. And Sir... Uh, the Worm... Wormclaw Templar. The one on the mount. Is that right? I don't know. Um, whenever a model... Ghostmaster... Whenever a model Ghostmaster inflicts a wound, place a ghost model adjacent to the wounded model? Fuck you. That's nasty. Now, I'm all for the bosses being super bad bosses, but... Wow. Um, Kitty Claws. Beatrix immediately takes one melee attack against any enemy model that moves into a square adjacent to Beatrix during its activation. Attacks of opportunity. Um, I've been wondering if they were going to add those back in. Um, potion Stash X. Sponsors gain potion tokens when rolled in the same manner as heroes up to the number indicated by X. Do I start with potions? Oh, okay. So she doesn't start with potions, but she can gain them. 
That balances out a little bit. That's good. Uh, of course, ghosts. Uh, zero strength, zero armor, two blue will, range one, and three blue dexterity. Um, they have an action called Extra Scared. Um, Invader, and a hero with ghost on his card may gain duplicate status effect tokens of the same type. Oh, that's horrible. When a ghost is destroyed, duplicate status tokens remain, but may be removed through normal means. The effect of duplicate tokens are not cumulative. So that means extra po uh, poison, extra fire. Yes. That's nasty. A uh, shallow grave. Ghost may be spawned from the shallow grave. Foul effects instead of rattling bones. Which actually makes a lot of sense. They are, of course, insignificant in Invader. Um, so she's got a Pumpkin Bomb action card. A uh, Black Tallow Candle, which... Plus one green dex. Ghost stealth. A model with ghost ignores walls for purpose of line of sight and movement. Red cap hat. Plus three will. Fury. A model with fury gains plus one blue to all offense rolls for each wound it is currently suffering. That's what Gruesome George has and it's awesome. Um, zombie brute brew. Plus one green armor, Berserk Tough. During its activation, a model with Berserk may make a single melee attack, costing no action points. Tough during its upkeep. So you basically turn him into a uh, or, or Claw Barbarian. Something Claw Barbarian, I can't remember. Um, she has a lot of crap, man. Um, tox toxic Tincture. Plus one will, plus one armor. A model then a Toxic Blood. A model with inflicts a wound against... A model that inflicts a wound against a model with toxic blood suffers poison. Ugh. Holy water. Plus three blue. Oh, man. Strength. Um, holy. A model with holy may reroll a single die when make an offense action that gets undead. Um, one point action. Turn undead. Wave one. Push one. Crease to push three against undead. Uh, so she's got some cool, nasty items here. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting... Her involved. I think that'll be a, a fun, fun battle for next time. Um, that's all I really got to say. Oh, I did forget. This is the ugliest thing I've spent like 20 bucks on ever, I'm pretty sure. That doesn't even look like the boo booty to me. It looks like a bad Chinese knockoff. I'll go ahead and I'll put it here. I'll put it in front of the camera. What's special about this is that it's actually the worst USB drive ever. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. Other than on this USB drive supposedly is an alpha for their video game. So that's what I bought. I bought the alpha. Um, and I, if I was a shit bag, I probably could have gone out there and found it on the internet somewhere. So. Maybe I should have done that instead of... I thought that it would be a nice, tiny, cute boo booty. Like a nano-sized one. No. It's that. Um, and I'm not even going to bother picking up off the floor. But I will look forward to trying to do some game footage capture of that. And we'll see if I can do it or not. Um... But until you see me next time, I am Camerai. This has been an unboxing for Super Dungeon Explorer, Jack Scarecrow, Beatrix the Witch. And that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.